everybody welcome to the weekly vlog so i am hoping to pick up the camera every day this week and just share what's going on so that being said um just got home from work stopped at the grocery store after work because such a beautiful weekend that john and i didn't feel like going to the grocery store we wanted to enjoy the cool fall weather in the morning so we didn't go and we didn't really have like our big Sunday dinner, something just like a little bit fancier than what we usually have during the week. So we're having that tonight. So we're gonna have strip steaks, firing up our brand new grill for the first time. So we're excited about that. We're gonna have strip steaks and I am making um, crispy Parmesan wedges. The oven is preheated to 400 degrees. Um, here's obviously everything you need. Basically all you do is you can use the whole stick of butter if you're gonna do a whole pan of potatoes for your whole family but for John and I we'll just do half or uh, whatever we need and you'll just choose how many potatoes you want. You throw the butter in here, stick this in the oven for a few minutes, it'll get all melty. I'm gonna chop the potatoes into or cut the potatoes into wedges and then you put all the potatoes in the melted butter. You throw as much Parmesan on as your heart desires. Some good old salt and pepper. And then it goes in the oven for 45 minutes to an hour, making sure that you, um, not flip, but you stir. I don't even know. You just kind of like zhuzh them around in the pan with a spoon so that every side gets the chance to be crispy and then they come out super crispy, buttery, and cheesy, and they are so good with steak. So I'm gonna get to chopping and the butter's gonna go melt in the oven. Say old french fries from the refrigerator, you know, they just kind of taste dry. Um, if you reheat these in the air fryer, just the same as when you served them. They're really, really good. All right, I'm gonna throw these in the oven and I'm gonna make a salad to go with this in the steak. So now I have to go chop more. I forgot to mention, you bake them uncovered. 45 minutes to an hour. Don't forget to stir in between. So here is John's new grill. Let me get closer. We even have the information ready to catch fire down here. Good grief. The fire stays up here, it's propane, it's not. Okay. Well, wow. would you like to tell them about the grill? It's a grill. It's propane. It's well, nice. gee, we know it's a grill. <laughs> what is the? I forget the um, actual. It's Weber Genesis two. It heats meat up. Oh my cooks god! It, this is why I never put him on the video. <laughs> my favorite part about it is is that. If you push this button right here. I didn't plug in the battery. Oh, pickles. Well, <laughs> when the battery is plugged in, if you push this button, these glow so that I can send John out at nighttime and he can grill. The important thing about grilling is obviously that you just have, you know, metal tongs and a beer in hand, so. And those are the wise words from Jonathan Fall. Well, I guess, okay, so here's the one other interesting thing that has a burner. So yes. if you want to do a little, little, little sauce side vegetables, on the side or vegetables. No, vegetables. Sauce on the side. Sauce inside is easier. So alright, I'm gonna let you grill. It's chilly out here. Jesus. And I'll see you when we plate. Cheers. Alright, so potatoes just came out. Flip you around. You can tell they're still sizzling. So we're gonna let those cool down a bit. I went ahead and tossed my salad. It's Kind of small and sad um, because this is baby mermaid and it 
tends to be a very light leaf, but all of my toppings are down at the bottom now. So this is what I'm going to have sans my feta cheese, which I'm sad about, but I went ahead and put this Ken Steakhouse balsamic with honey on it. I just got it today. We'll see how that is. And we are going to get ready to eat. All right, recap on dinner. I would give it a 10 out of 10. What would you give it, John? Nine out of 10. Nine out of 10. <laughs> of course you did. So dinner was great. We, as you can see, we kind of cleaned up. Dishes are there. So dishwasher's still going, but um, clean up what we could. I'm getting ready to watch Dancing with the Stars. Um, I went to Target this weekend and I got this really cozy lounge outfit. This is like a black with a gray speckle and it's long sleeve because it's already starting to get a little chilly. The pants are really comfy. They're almost like high-waisted, but they're stretchy and they're drawstring and they actually hit me at the perfect length. They're not dragging on the floor or anything. So I think they were like the Stars Above brand at Target. Star something, I'll link them below. Put them watch Dancing with the Stars. That's it. That's our exciting night. I'm heading into work tomorrow morning again. I think Wednesday I'm gonna stay home. So, see you tomorrow. Hey everyone, it is Tuesday and I'm actually filming this a little bit later today. Even though I got home, home around 4.30 today, I was checking out some new stuff for Google Meet updates for school and writing an email to push those out. So it's all done. We're having leftovers for dinner tonight just because we're both feeling a little bit tired, but I have some yummy meals set for the rest of the week. What else is up? Mm. Dancing with the Stars. I went to sit, I sat down and I turned on Dancing with the Stars last night or to the channel and I told John, I was like, it's, it's always on at this time at this channel. Where is it? Turns out this week is a special Tuesday edition. So that's what I'll be watching tonight. So I didn't really watch anything last night. Nothing too crazy happening on this Tuesday. I'm going to change into those comfy lounger, the lounger set again that I showed you yesterday because it's super cozy. And I'll be back. And we're back in the cozy lounger set. I'm telling you guys, if you see this at Target, it's just so comfy. I think I'm gonna have to order more of them if there were more colors, which I think there were. But I got an Amazon package today. I have a few set to come this week. This is the first of those few. I am working on just kind of refreshing my skincare routine. I do that every now and then. Heard good things about this CeraVe renewing um, salicylic acid cleanser. So salicylic acid is good for exfoliating your skin and kind of removing all the dead skin cells. So this is drugstore brand, but I had to order it on Amazon. I looked at Ulta, they were sold out online and in store. We'll see how this goes. I've also had these before, so this is kind of a repurchase. It's called the Mighty Patch, and this is for just little breakouts that occur. Weird pictures, but um, it really does help. So if you feel a blemish coming on and it's either sore under the skin or you just kind of want to attack it beforehand, um, you put this on and I definitely notice that it helps my skin overnight so that it's not as terrible in the morning. I will bring you into the bathroom. I'm not gonna show you everything because it's not very clean. I'm trying to keep the, the focus right here. Okay, this is a good zone. It's very bright though. Over the weekend, I did go to Ulta looking for that salicylic acid cleanser. Ended up finding this, the Ordinary. Wow, that's super bright. The Ordinary, this is a salicylic acid mask. And it's like in this charcoal color. So um, I did try that 
I think it was Sunday night. I don't know. I'm going to use it a couple more times before I give like a full review um, in any kind of form. But I also, I mainly went to get the Ordinary. It's the Niacinamide Plus Zinc Serum. I don't know if technically it's a serum. It's just niacinamide, which I believe is vitamin E. Okay, back to the programming. I ha I know what I'm talking about with this one. This is the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser for normal to dry skin, which is my skin type. And I have really liked using this. It feels really good. And I think already my skin feels brighter in the morning when... Um, I get it all cleansed and ready for the day. So we'll see how it goes over the next couple weeks. But that's the update on the skincare routine. Good morning, everyone. I am working from home today. So kind of just getting set so I can jump right into work. Um, I'm gonna go downstairs, make a cup of hot chocolate. I might make an omelet this morning. But gotta get going. Gotta be able to answer emails, support teachers when they need it. And hopefully it's gonna be a great day. Um I was gonna say something, but I forgot. I don't know. Maybe I'll remember by lunchtime. See you then. I remembered. And I have a sweater on now. Um I was going to say the uh cleanser that I used last night, the salicylic acid cleanser. So I did notice it was a little bit more drying. Um, my face felt a little bit tighter this morning. Things look good. They look clear. But um, probably will rotate using that and the hydrating cleanser every other day or maybe every two days. So that's it. Now I'll see you at lunch. Hey everyone. It is lunchtime. And even though it's um, 80 degrees outside, I think I'm gonna make chicken and rice soup just because I feel like a bowl of soup for lunch. But I got some packages. I got, I'll probably show them to you inside. Hang on. Okay, sorry, it was a little bright out there. Although it feels really nice. So in the one package I got this e.l.f. Happy Hydration Cream, cruelty free and vegan, I'm seeing on the back and it's good for normal, dry, combination, or oily skin. So we're gonna give this a go. This is part of like my skincare refresh that I'm doing. It's just kind of fun to buy and try out new things. Um, and then I bought something for a kitchen. It is a rotary grater. I'm gonna put my hot chocolate away. But um, it's a rotary grater for cheese and vegetables. So it looks like you can do all kinds of things, slicing up zucchini or cucumbers or potatoes. Um, ooh, you can make zoodles with it. Carrots. But I mainly bought it for cheese. But, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm going to make some chicken and rice soup. I just feel like that. And then I'm going to jump back into the rest of the work day. We'll see what that entails. Hey, we're using the new cheese grater. We're making quesadillas for dinner. Here we go. Minimal to no effort. Oh, okay, well, it's going everywhere. Hang on, everybody. The people can't see you, so you might need to back up a little bit. Cheese grating trials with a bowl. This is super professional, by the way. Here we go, John's experience with the new cheese grater. all the cheese action. What are your final thoughts? It is definitely quite easy. There was Clean up is more of the potential concern. Well, it is dishwasher safe. Now, that's not saying a whole lot because our dishwasher kind of stinks right now. It does. So, maybe we'll have to do a little pre-rinse. <laughs> are we done? <laughs> We're, we might have to do a little pre-rinse, but yeah, everything... This part, the actual grater blade, and then the clear um, funnel thing. Those are all the dishwasher safe pieces. So, so far so good. Hey everyone, it is 
Thursday, not quite Friday yet. I am making um, potato soup for dinner tonight. Again, it was not cold today, but I'm just feeling like soup. So making, well, it's called country ham and potato, but I don't have the country ham, so just potato. But it's super creamy and it's from this Paula Deen magazine that I'm pretty sure my grandma got me around the time of our wedding. And here is the recipe, but I'll tell you as I make it. Basically what's going on right now in here is, I think it was a quarter cup of butter, salted butter, and of course we've got diced onion in there. I'm gonna cook that till it's translucent. I'm also gonna throw in, just before that's almost done, I'm gonna throw in um, the tablespoon of garlic and I never mince my own garlic, usually. So just, there it is, just that kind, minced garlic and water, tablespoon of that. And then I'll cook the garlic just for a bit because I've noticed that it gets too brown when it's in there with the onions. Then a couple tablespoons of flour goes into the party and all of the potatoes and the broth go in and hang out for a bit and put your heavy cream in. We are gonna add white cheddar cheese to this soup. It's in the recipe, but there's actually, how much cheese is in this? A cup and then you can put some on top of your soup bowl, but you know that I'm gonna use the brand new cheese grater. We have it set up right there, ready to roll. And obviously this is great served with bacon on top and I'm not, we're not making bacon tonight. Oh, I do use my immersion blender and blend it all together. So it's almost like a bisque or a really, really thick soup, whatever you wanna consider the two. It's just really comforting and yummy. Really good too with sandwiches, ham, ham and cheese. You can do grilled ham and cheese. So that's about it. I went into work today. I filmed our morning show for Fridays. I usually film those on Thursdays and edit them together. So it was a fun day. We had the office staff dancing for this Friday segment. So started the day with some laughter, which is always good. You gonna keep stirring the onions. Tomorrow's Friday. Oh, and after dinner, sorry, after dinner, I will update you on the skincare. So see you in a bit. Dinner is all cleaned up, we have leftovers for lunch tomorrow. And I just love that meal because you basically are just using a couple of things from your pantry and then, what, two items from the fridge, the garlic and the heavy cream, butter. But really easy to put together with very minimal ingredients and it doesn't take long at all. I promised you guys an update on my skincare and things are feeling really good and they're looking really good so far. So that's a good sign. But I told you the other night that I cleansed with the salicylic acid cleanser and last night I alternated with the hydrating cleanser and I woke up this morning and things felt really balanced out, which is great. But I also threw in to the mix this e.l.f. Happy Hydration Cream. I really like it. It's unscented, the ingredients are good, and the price is pretty good too. I got mine from Amazon, but I it's, of course, the e.l.f. brand is at Target. My Target just did not have it. So here is the cream. You can kind of see how thick it is. Again, no scent to it. It did not irritate my skin at all. It's definitely on the heavier side. I put it on today just as my daily moisturizer to try it out with my makeup that I'm wearing. And I was wondering, I was thinking that my makeup might slip in the areas where I get oily, which is right here and on my T-zone, just the T-zone, which is, you know, forehead and then through the nose and chin. But actually, my skin feels great, and I did not have 
too much shine going on and it didn't feel like um, the moisturizer caused my makeup to slip around at all so I really like it I wish it had an SPF in it but you can always build that in with other products or just add it in on its own some moisturizers have that others do not but I think I like this and then I think one thing I forgot to show you guys is that I'm using this there you go the Cetaphil hydrating eye gel cream I have been putting that on every night this week because my eyes feel really tired after looking at the computer all day long but I do think it's helping with puffiness that's all the skincare stuff that's going on so I will see you guys tomorrow for Friday well it's not Friday <laughs> it's Saturday morning and yesterday was nothing crazy eventful so just didn't film it uh, and today is gonna be just about the same just going to unpack a little bit more I'm in my craft room and I want to get some of that stuff put inside of this cabinet and I got to clean our master bathroom and really we're just continuing to get settled so I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog this week and I'll see you guys next time bye